All right, Shalom, Mikeim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honest to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and honest to you, brothers who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Okay, um, this is just a quick video, you know, of a, a few things that I saw today online dealing with this whole COVID thing, which pretty much, man, if you've been keeping up with this, it definitely seems like this is leading right up to the mark of the beast. But without further ado, I'll get straight to the point. This article is on CNBC.com. And it came out uh, today and it states, can your employer require you to get a COVID vaccine? Here's what experts say. You know, and I'll go down, I'll get straight to the point. Can employers require COVID vaccination? In general, yes, employees, employers are able to mandate the vaccine when it becomes available with, of course, a bunch of caveats, says employment lawyer Lindsey Ryan, listing possible exemption, exemptions for those with specific medical conditions and those with sincerely held religious convictions. Ryan emphasizes that state laws regulating what constitutes reasonable accommodations for religious groups vary significantly, but that under federal law, employers don't have to grant a religious accommodation, accommodation if doing so would result in more than a de minimis cost to the operation of the business. De minimis is Latin for of minimum importance and is used in law to refer to a total so small that it is not even recognized. Given how significantly the pandemic has impacted businesses, Ryan says this is a pretty low standard, meaning many employers will likely have legal ground to require vaccination. She adds that being a so-called anti-vaxxer or being naturally fearful of taking a vaccine that is brand new would likely not suffice to get out of an employer-mandated vaccine. And it also has the daily new coronavirus deaths in the U.S. It was high up in the spring going into the and went down in the summer. And now it's higher than ever in December right here. See, but this is how they do it, man. They're, they're requiring you to to take this. Uh, uh, they're going to they're going to do it, man. They're going to try to mandate this. And even if they don't like mandated in front of just the whole earth is going to be uh, they're going to make life hard for you if you don't take this and a lot of people are going to lose their jobs if they don't want to take it you know and hey this is the this is leading up to the mark of the beast man you know it's going to come to a point where um, you won't be able to buy, sell, trade, or, or pretty much be able to move in this society like the daily consumer is able to do today. When they fully implement what they're trying to do. Now, this is also um, on cdc.gov. And this is going into the... Um, this has been updated a few days ago on COVID-19 travel recommendations by destination. So as you can see right here, it says level four COVID-19 is very high. And you got level three, which is high, COVID-19, moderate, level two, and is low for level one, and level unknown is gray. So just look at 95% of the earth <laughs> according to CDC 95% of the earth is very high 
Now let's see what it says for very high here. For level four, travelers should avoid all travel to these destinations. And if you look at all the places here, um, this is, like I said, this is <laughs> this is most of the earth. <laughs> So this is this is going to show you, man. Hey, this devil, this devil know he has a short time, and he's making moves. He's gonna stop the travel. He's already done stopped a lot of travel to a lot of these places. And some of these places, if you you try to travel to them, you could probably get there, but it's gonna be hard getting back. You know. And it's like, how is Antarctica? even even on here like who lives in antarctica but <laughs> but see this is this is the point you know i just want to make this video man and of course get this scripture here this is second ezra 15 17 a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able so look they're doing the things with the jobs so the jobs are gonna have the right to mandate a vaccine on everybody you know, and they letting you know it. And if you're keeping up with the news and what's going on, you know, I mean, you know, you know that they're going to, they're giving them the lead way to do all these things. So as you can see, you can't travel anywhere according to this damn devil. You know, the, the earth is, the earth is, uh, the whole earth is sick. <laughs> According to him, you know, man, we got to be saved. You know, this devil, he's about to come down with a hammer. And he's he's using COVID as a big catalyst to be able to do it. And the whole earth is in fear. And the whole earth is walking around with mask on. And the whole earth is pretty much through because they trust in this devil. They believe in this devil. And they enjoy the lifestyle that this devil provides them in wickedness. And they don't consider the Lord. All right. And the ones who do consider the Lord, uh, uh, pretty much the word is being uh, suppressed. It's still getting out to who it needs to get out to. But this devil is trying to suppress the word. But Lord willing... Hey, we, we we watching these prophecies come to pass. These things are supposed to pass. And guess what? What you're seeing right now and what you, with the jobs and with all that, is going to get worse. And that's according to the scriptures. It's going to get worse. But just quick update here, man. This is, <laughs> you can't go nowhere according to this devil, man. So, but that's also prophecy. But Lord will, um... This was a good update and was able to edify. Shalom.